Let's take a few minutes to take a look at the Spark software and see how it works. We create a new um, new presentation using the Adobe Spark software. It's pretty easy. You just kind of uh, you know, create an ID if you haven't, or if you have an Adobe ID, go ahead and use that and log into the system. And you can start creating right from there. Not uh, a real steep learning curve or anything. You can just create a new project by hitting the add button there and you can select either to create a page, a post, or a video. I'll create a page here. So notice you get a blank screen there and you can choose from many different themes that are already preset or start your own. I'm gonna pick one here. Let's call it the let's pick the chronicle one there. And let's add a title to our creation. Just click on the title there and just start typing away. I'll type in Life in America. This project is for an inquiry-based learning project that we'll try to set up a demonstration for here. So I just add the title. I click the plus button in the bottom there and I can upload a photo to use as a background. And this one looks good here. I'll take this photo add that to my piece. Now I already have a title page. Now I can just start adding things by clicking that plus button. Notice there's text and video and buttons and all different things. Pretty easy, a lot of point and click. I create a title and I can change heading sizes or in different tags. I'll put that one there and let's see if we can add some text. I'm just cutting and pasting text actually from I had already pre-written some things but Put in there, but notice how easy it is to just modify the modify the text. Just changing different size, and let's just bold that first couple words there. But notice you have the plus buttons. You could just add and rearrange, and things are starting to come into shape there. I don't need to know any code or anything like that. So I'll add another photo now after some text. Just uploading different photos and you can go to Adobe Stock if you want to do that. And there's some basic little transitions in a lot of the pieces there. Notice I get little different ways to format that photo. But instead of the photo there, I'm going to actually add a button first and put an external link in. So I put here learn more at, at Wikipedia about the Civil War. And then I'll align to center that center that button there with the URL. Now I have a button with a link. Pretty easy, eh? Now let's put that photo in. Okay, that's good. I like that photo. Let's let's maybe add a caption. Just, just notice I'm clicking here. I don't have to really write any code or align anything. It's just pretty straightforward. This is great multimedia presentation software. So di different way, you know, you do presentations. Um, use PowerPoint or use Keynote or others. But um, the Adobe Spark software is a, kind of a good way to... Um, Pretty simply get a quick presentation, which is web-based, uh, started right away. So now let's add a title there. Let's, add, let's center this one and put a reference here for the Library of Congress. Add some text, which has URLs in it, and now I'll highlight those and put the actual links in. So now those become kind of clickable in my presentation. All different ways you can format. And again, this is the format based on this template that I chose earlier. I'm going to highlight there the first sentence and italicize it. Let's add another button and actually put a link here to the Library of Congress 
with a kind of a button, a more engaging button. These could be videos as well, uh, different widgets, different embed we other web pages or code. I'm just doing a pretty simple example here just to try to demonstrate how simple it is to get started with Adobe Spark. All right, keep adding some text. And again, I cut and paste here. I had pre-written some things just in the interest of time for the video. Now I'm going to add, say, a section called Soldiers here. And now I'm going to do a photo grid. Well, first, I'll put some text in, though, some additional text. So now a little bit about the soldiers during the Civil War. And now let's put our photo grid in. Notice now I can get a kind of a pre-template of a grid there, and I'm just going to select a number of photos. Of, in this case, I've pre-selected these primary source photos from the Library of Congress uh, to use in this presentation. And I'm finding the ones that are the soldiers, and then I'm going to put those arranged in a grid. And notice how that kind of pops right in. Pretty easy. You can also um, format individual photos within that grid. That one I made just a little bit bigger. And so editing the grid is pretty easy. Okay, it's starting to look pretty good here. Once I've got it the way I like, there's the save up in the top right there. Let's save that. And got a nice, nice aligned grid with some different size pictures. And let's keep adding some text. Another title called The Destruction will show some of the pictures from there. Formatting, centering, add my text. Yeah, first I'll, maybe I'll put a caption in. Yeah, let's put a caption in here first and images of the soldiers. Now let's put in some our text for the destruction. A little description of what happened to all the places uh, during all the war time. Put another photo grid in. And again, just select a number of photos. Hopefully you're seeing that it's pretty straightforward here to get really started pretty quickly with the Adobe Spark software. And notice when you do photos to the right here, we can, all different ways, I can bring them in from Google, Dropbox, on my computer, Adobe Stock, the Creative Cloud, or even Lightroom if you're creating photos. Okay, I'm just going to add a caption to my next montage, if you will, of photos. Spark software can be pretty good to um, get, get students uh, new to some presentation software uh, moving pretty quickly and get something uh, that they can be pretty happy with pretty quickly. Yeah, let's add another section here. And now I'm going to kind of dig deeper instead of the place and show some everyday people here. We'll call it the toll on Americans. And added some more introductory text. Now let's find our photos. This is, after all, an analysis of photos or look at photos. So not a lot of text, but a lot more photos. Okay, that looks pretty good. Got all those photos. It could do a lot more, but well, let's grab these last couple. Okay, oh, those are some good, good photographs. A 
put a caption to the whole photo grid. And then again, if I was uh, doing a, a kind of more detailed project here, I certainly would uh, take a lot more time than these uh, 10, 15 minutes of putting together something here. Just want to really give you a sense for how easy it is to get some rich media moving pretty quickly. Okay, let's add one more title. And this one's a question. Try to get our audience engaged. What do you think? We'll add a button under that. And point people right to the Adobe Spark software so they can go ahead and create their own right after being inspired by this um, demonstration. And we'll send them to the Library of Congress here to find their own photos, and then they can come back to the Spark. Doing that through the button, so you're making your presentation um, engaging and interactive, which is a good way to get your audience uh, connected. And I'll just try to add some credit here at the end and references and should finish up pretty quickly here. Okay, I'm going to make sure I add my sources in the references from the Library of Congress, Wikipedia, etc. Just make those um, clickable, so if somebody wants to just go ahead and follow up right after, they can just click on that and it'll take them right to my sources. Okay, now we're looking pretty good here, and let's see how we can we can preview this. Clicking that button at the very top, see what it's going to look like for our audience. Nicely takes up the big screen there, and look, we've got a pretty good looking, uh, consistent looking presentation. Looks pretty good, uh, and uh, easy to share. We just click on a share button, and it'll give us some links or give us embed code. Notice we can uh, share, we can categorize it. I'm going to call this one education, put a little photo credit in there for the Library of Congress. And I could just create a link, and it gives me a shareable link right there. I can cut and paste that, I can email it, tweet, tweet it, etc. There's some embed code as well if I wanted to just embed this whole thing into my other web page. So there it is, I've got it. And we've got a project completed using the Adobe Spark software. Go ahead and give it a try.